everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Born in 1819 to the family of textile merchants in Germany, little Francis Xavier Silos wanted to become just like the saint he was named after. Any decision he made after his confirmation affirmed he was on his way to sainthood. Francis's dream was always to become a priest, and so he began his studies. He obtained his degree in philosophy and theology in 1839 and was accepted to the St. Jerome Seminary in Germany in 1842. He loved his studies and began to even explore additional orders outside of the pastoral studies. Francis became familiar with the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, who focused their ministry work on the poor, abandoned, and immigrants. His heart was so moved to serve the overlooked members of society that he left St. Jerome and traveled to the United States to serve the German-American immigrants. He arrived in New York and completed his studies at the Redemptorist of St. James in Baltimore, Maryland in 1844. From there, Father Francis worked nine years at St. Philomena Parish in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Six of those years were spent as an assistant pastor and spiritual student under St. John Newman, and the other three as superior and novice master of the Redemptorist community. Father Francis truly embraced the lifestyle of the Redemptorists and lived a life of simplicity. He lived a simple life, he preached a simple message, and he simply loved. Although he lived a simple life, he drew crowds to his parishes, hearing confession from anyone who desired the sacrament. He never grew tired of serving the young and old, black and white. He would hear confessions in English, German, and even French. Because of his simple but powerful preaching, Father Francis was proposed as the Bishop of Pittsburgh in 1860. He humbly begged to be excused from this act of God so that he could continue serving the poor and immigrants directly, and Pope Pius IX allowed it. Setting out in 1863, Father Francis would spend the remaining years of his life traveling as an itinerant missionary to many different states, preaching bilingually in German and English to anyone who would hear. He then heard of a growth of German communities, specifically in New Orleans, Louisiana. So in 1866, he settled down for one final year. Father Francis would work with victims suffering from yellow fever for the next year until he was personally taken by the disease himself in 1867. Just short a hundred years following his death, a miraculous healing of an incurable cancer patient credited their healing towards Father Francis Xavier Silos, opening his canonization. For a man who lived such a simple life, Blessed Francis set out on an incredible journey that would only lead him to everlasting joy. May we follow his simple approach to step back and let God shine through our own witnesses. Blessed Francis Xavier Silos, patron against cancer, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.